hello my alienators welcome back to my channel new subscribers welcome thank you so much for finding my channel i'm getting a lot of messages about you guys saying i just found your video and i found your channel and i love you and i love your videos so i'm super happy that people are somehow finding me i really appreciate all the love and support you guys and all the love that i get on the comments it's amazing i'm just like living for it i'm just so happy that you guys are happy with the content and and you accept me for my craziness and look at me i'm wearing purple lipstick and a lavender shirt and i'm nuts and i have yellow nails it is what it is i'm going to try to get a little classy in the future but i don't know I'm, I'm just crazy you know what i mean i'm just crazy and i love it and i just want to be myself and i just want to feel at home with my youtube family so since you guys i've done a video um on selena and justin's energy update energy i wanted to also do one on hail no on my channel we talk about Haley baldwin bieber and we call her hail no so just for fyi for the new people that don't know our lingo we have we make up names for people okay so let me just get the business out of the way because that's really important so i'm going to put the uh website down right right here just right now so I do have my own website now. You can go on it. If you've read with me, please write me reviews. Uh, I'm hopefully going to merchandise or going to come. Hopefully I'm going to start doing that, I'm sell merchandise. I'm probably going to put it on my website. So just make sure that you have the website name down. And um, also I have created a YouTube, um, YouTube. I've created a, a, a Facebook group called Alienators. The info is right here too so if you guys are interested in coming on it's a private group if you're interested and you want to come on i will add you in just send me a friend request and to the group to the alienators and uh we gossip and complain and bitch and moan and and make fun of people and it's fun it's just like an, a platform for us to all get together and and you know just hang out uh so we have that as well also uh i am working on hopefully creating my own lipstick line i just mixed two lipsticks today blue and pink and it gave me purple i love lipstick i don't have makeup on my face except for blush and lipstick literally i don't have anything else on um and i'm just like living for it i love lipstick you guys if i could afford it i would order every single color that i showed you guys that i that you know but we have to start with one color for now so hopefully two colors we shall see what i can do with this company with this with this factory so what else do i need to say before we get into today's video um mm, mm, mm. the facebook group alienators the website oh if you guys are interested in joining my monthly virtual seminars webinars whatever you want to call it as of next month probably within two weeks here's my email uh please email me so i have your email and information and then i'll tell you guys about the pricing for that also if you're interested in private coaching or life coaching or private readings here's the email and go ahead and contact me and i will let you guys know how to you know pay for it or my availability all that good stuff so the group coaching is going to be really fun because i am really expensive privately and i thought by doing a group coaching i can reach a lot more people that way and i can just talk about uh, you know um the usual i want to help you guys with relationships and dating and energy and meditation and visualization law of attraction all that stuff i think it's going to be really important to learn about energy that can then help you with your thought process about your finances your relationships your friendships all of that it's all starts with energy so i want to teach that to you guys i think it'll be really fun and really beneficial to you guys hopefully you guys will come on and enjoy the webinars which will start as of next month i don't have a date and time yet because i got to figure out um i might start doing it on the weekends so i feel like everyone's going back to work so probably it's going to be either on a saturday or a sunday okay so that's that is there anything else um i'm trying to do merchandise and things like that i might be doing t-shirts or coffee mugs so i always run everything by my alienators on our facebook group like again make sure that you guys go and join us there because i brainstorm with everyone uh, all the viewers and um and it just gives me ideas and names and thoughts and things that i want to do for the channel so anyways i hope that you guys you know uh come along on this journey with us and become an alienator and let's get into today's video right now okay so we're going to start with the island time wellness love oracle cards first then we're going to go to these 
love oracle cards they look like this and they have the messages inside so we're going to start with this so thank you spirit we're going to just get right into it honey uh let's find out what the hell is going on with hell no so thank you spirit thank you spirit thank you spirit we're going to start uh tuning into uh Haley baldwin Haley baldwin i have to say her um birth name for for this to work properly okay so Haley baldwin Haley baldwin thank you spirit thank you spirit thank you spirit let me give it a good shuffle thank you spirit we want to find out what is the energy of uh hell no right now thank you spirit thank you spirit thank you spirit okay so okay so let me give this a good shuffle thank you spirit thank you spirit thank you spirit thank you spirit thank you thank you thank you thank you what is the energy of hell no thank you i mean Haley baldwin that's hilarious that's hilarious what is the energy of hail um hail no Haley Haley baldwin okay so what is the energy of Haley baldwin um okie dokie we got the snake for her it's really funny because selena gomez's friend did refer to her as a snake which is really interesting she's been getting this this card lately competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman the other woman is silly now so she got this snake card which is saying competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman so that's what she's coming up right now so thank you spirit i'm gonna uh, okay so this card just fell out fell out. what is it coffin endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation transition r.i.p so it seems like something's going to die in her life which i feel like is her marriage um so let's see what else um spirit wants to show us that was the second card we're going to pull one more card out karmic relationship wow i think i talked about that in justin's reading and i said that i feel like they have a karmic relationship where they were supposed to come together and learn something from each other and then that's that's it and they're going to walk away from each other karmic relationship feelings triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving you so Haley baldwin just this is the third card she just got i do feel like them getting together and getting married was karmic and they were meant to do that i feel like this was definitely necessary for justin and and her to go through because it's like they tried it out to see if it's going to work for them and it's not working for them so karmic relationship feelings fe feeling triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving you okay so that was the third card she got now we're going to go to this deck so we're going to use the love oracles of this deck so thank you spirit thank you spirit thank you spirit i want to uh tune into Haley baldwin Haley baldwin Haley baldwin thank you 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 Haley baldwin Haley baldwin thank you spirit thank you spirit some cards wanted to flip over but they didn't the hottest love has the coldest end oh my god i got this for justin as well so the hottest love has the coldest end this means that they came together it was really hot and heavy and they wanted to be together or they wanted to marry each other and it was just like this rush 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 um so they could just get married and have sex i don't know what the reasoning behind the marriage was but uh when you are just like not knowing each other you've never been in a relationship together before you're not you've never lived together and you just kind of just jump in and just get married head first um it's showing that when things are hot and heavy it's just going to sizzle out uh faster because there was no like growth for it to go up right so that's the card that she got the hottest love has the coldest end so ooh, don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you i think i got this the other day for her too when i was doing the the video that i did about the her and justin um suing the plastic surgeon she got the same card don't worry don't don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you so that's the second card she got let's see what the third card is for for her shuffling shuffling always shuffling shuffling okay you will meet your soulmate when the time is right so um Haley has not met her soulmate yet okay so i feel like 
Justin and Haley have a karmic relationship. It was like a, maybe a contract from a past life. Like we're going to come together in this life and help each other. I think she's helped them by, by nurse being a nurse to him and being supportive of him or whatever. Let's just be positive right now in this video. We know she's done other things, but uh, and then also Justin has has helped her with like trying to like create a, a career for her because nobody really knew who she was by being associated with Justin a lot of doors are opening for her so I feel like that was definitely uh where's that card that was definitely um uh, a karmic thing for them so the first card they got she got was the hottest love has the coldest end don't be afraid of some don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you and then the third card is you will meet your soulmate when the time is right so that is very to the point very interesting now we're going to look at the tarot cards so quick for me now because these cards are so to the point and i can just like get the message out and it makes my life easy and i can do more videos and i can put two videos up for you guys so i'm going to put both these videos up for you guys on friday i believe yes friday mm, what's today yeah friday i think okay so um so yeah so i put the the justin and Haley's energy read for friday so they both will be available for friday okay so all right let's tune into her with the with the with my tarot deck the giant it's a giant deck because these cards are super super thin look at the card i just pulled out she has a knight of swords she's scared she's worried okay so thank you spirit thank you spirit too many cards i want to come out thank you spirit um Haley baldwin Haley baldwin Haley baldwin i have to say her maiden name her birth name for it to work okay hey because i'm trying to tap into an energy okay i'm trying to tap into her energy Haley baldwin Haley baldwin Haley baldwin the king of pentacles i don't know who that is it's an earth sign man two of pentacles a lot of pentacles and the justice card wow holy shit you guys okie dokie i think she's going to get an attorney the attorney is going to help her get a divorce from justin and she's going to make a lot of money from this divorce this is going to be either her dad this is either her dad or an attorney or a business manager or whatever so what's coming up for her is divorce and inheriting or getting a lot of fucking money out of this divorce you heard it here you guys you know, I predicted the Scott Disick and Sophia Ritchie. I predicted them breaking up. I told everyone that I feel like they're Courtney and Scott are going to go back together after a couple of years of not being together. I feel like they're going to get married and have another child with each other. And yeah, so I feel like Justin and Haley, I don't gain anything from this, you guys. Obviously, he came up again. I don't know who this guy is. Maybe it's going to be her dad or a manager or an attorney or whatever. But honestly, honest to God, I don't benefit anything from this, right? I'm just reading energy and I'm just, we're just talking about it on my channel because everyone loves me doing these videos on Justin and Selena and Haley. And I'm trying to do more content on different people and things like that. But since I got these cards, I just want to try them out on them individually, okay? So I just feel like Justin and Haley definitely rushed in into this marriage. I feel like they do have a karmic relationship, like they, they had a karmic contract from a past life that they were supposed to come together in this life and help each other in whatever shape or form. I feel like she's helped them by being there and helping him kind of, you know, with his health and things like that. And he's trying to help her with her career by using his name. And their energy is going to end, okay? So they're gonna get a divorce. She's gonna get a lot of money out of it. Of course, she's gonna be heartbroken, but she will meet her soulmate. She will meet someone that she's going to love and the person's going to really love her. She will have a really good life. I see her living a very extravagant, um, very extravagant, very elegant life. Honest to God, she does not match Justin. Justin wants to dress like a homeless person and, and Haley is all about like dressing up and always being in designers, designer clothing and just like being decked out and just, you know, like a runway, like a runway clothing, not just like even regular clothing. So I think like she's going to live a very luxurious life, very elegant, very opulent life with this guy that she's going to meet. And she is gonna become a mother. She's going to become a wife. Oh my God, you guys, I think this is gonna be her future husband and he's gonna be an earth sign. Hmm. Uh, 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and that's going to be her. So she is going to get married to someone else. She is going to be a mom. She's going to have kids, and she's going to be really, really happy, okay? So that's the energy. She might do magic, though, to keep uh, Justin, but it's not going to work. They're, gonna, they're not meant to be together, so you can do magic, and it, it's going to help. Magic does help, and it brings people together and all that if you want to do it that way. But at the end of the day, um, when you do magic, it's kind of actually brings the person that you're meant to be with rather than the person that you want to be with because that's how magic works because you're asking the assistance of universe and angels and guides and so they will bring you what is best for you you may be obsessing about a guy or whatever but when you do magic actually it just kind of does this crazy thing where it just brings you what is for your highest good so i feel like justin and Haley definitely came together because it was karmic relationship they're trying to learn something from each other they, were, they had made a contract pact in the past by coming together in this life to help each other and it's going to end and they're both going to be happy i don't know about i'm so fucking good i don't even know i need to like just i don't know i feel like i need to just like have my own like i don't know retreat temple church i don't know my own cult so they're just going to end you guys it's a death card however the death card is a suggestion suggestion of something ending and something new beginning so i'm not too worried about Haley. i think she's going to be fine she's going to have a very elegant life so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video hashtag alienators i love you guys so much for your love and support constant love and support uh, again, if you guys want to join us, please join us on our Facebook group, Alienators, and stay in tuned to merchandise coming and hopefully this lipstick that I'm trying to launch and start. And I'm going to do more content and more zodiac sign uh, and readings for them because I feel like since I have these oracle cards and they make my life so much easier, I'm going to start doing zodiac readings for the week. So I'll just do updated um, weekly updates for zodiac signs, for all zodiac signs. So that's probably going to, I think I'm going to start doing that maybe for the Friday videos. I'll have or Saturday videos, I'll have uh, the Zodiac, like what's coming up for the following week. I'm gonna do it on Saturday or Sundays. Yeah, that's gonna be good. It's on Saturdays. I think I'm gonna start posting those videos because that way you guys can see what's coming up for you for the month, for the, for the next week. And then I also will do the monthly Zodiac signs, what's coming up for the, for the following month. And I'll try to do newer content and newer things on the channel to make it fun. I just wanted to say thank you so much. If you guys are new, please subscribe, share, and like. And if you guys are interested in the webinar, I said all that stuff in the beginning of the video. But anyways, I put all the stuff on the screen so I don't have to talk about it so much. It's so exhausting talking about it, but I feel like I have to remind you guys so I don't get random emails saying, I didn't know about the webinar. I didn't know about this. And how do I get in touch with you? How do I do this? So everything hopefully is easily accessible for you guys to find out and contact me on my email and the webinar and the private coaching and the group coaching and the private readings, all that good stuff. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. I will see you guys tomorrow morning in my Super Chat live streams, which I do every day, Monday to Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific time and the weekends at 10 a.m. Pacific time. All right, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Bye.